day up, I'm a lot on them last, and today we are going to try and attempt to do frog at edge. Now, before we get started on this video, I personally thought that Deb packed the guidebook and she thought that I packed the guidebook, so we are without a guidebook today. This should be fun. We should have downloaded the app. Should have got the app, yeah, but oops. I'm out of breath already. We were originally going to go and see Birch's Edge and Garden's Edge, but it was so busy, there was nowhere to park. So we found a place at the Grouse Inn for Frogger, so let's see where it takes us. We have been here before. We did this little same route up to White Edge, but we want to go and see Frogger Edge today. So yeah, let's go. It's just so great to be out in the Peak District. <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> God, what a dog. So on my last video, I noticed that some of you viewers were quite concerned and getting a bit cross that me and Deb complained about the cyclists on, sorry, the, sorry. on the trail. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I don't mean to complain. We don't hate cyclists, guys. But the Montessor Trail is very, very, very busy. But yeah, we didn't mean to offend anyone. <laughs> Off you go. Lucy. Hi. Do you love it? I love being out, yeah, it's so good. It's so fresh. So what's good about the Peak District is it is so good, so close to people that live in Chesterfield, Sheffield, Nottingham, Manchester, Derby. Get yourself down here, it's just so fun. I need the loo. So we've just been talking to a, another sort of walker and he recommended that rather than do White Edge and Kerber, which we've done before, which then leads to Frogget, we're kind of at the wrong end. Typical of us, we never know where we're going. <laughs> but he says it's a really good walk if you come up to the um, little signpost here and turn left. It's the opposite way to White Edge. We can see where, see where it goes. So we are on the Longshore Estate. Let's go. Come on. It's a very gentle walk so far, not too hilly. Just my kind of thing, right up my street. Reminds me of one of those Edward Hopper paintings. So, I want to say a massive, massive, massive shout out to Jeff. He is a brand new patron to this channel. Thank you so much for all the support and your comments. Everything it means so much. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you. So, we've turned right at the house. We're going up to this little gate up here. Let's go. Lucy, are you happy? I'm very, very happy, Deb. Are you? Good. <laughs> Where to now? So the good thing about coming to the Peak District is that you're gonna get lost. That's just the nature of it. There's not a lot of signposts around like country parks that you go to in your city. So yeah, this is us lost right now. No clue where we are, but you know what? That's the fun of it. So I'm sure you've all come to the realization that me, the not them last, is just a really hopeless navigation. But you know what? I don't really care. I love it. Getting lost is, is fun, I guess, sometimes. <laughs> uh, I should have downloaded those apps that everyone told me to download. I just didn't get around to it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I think we're going to end up at White Edge. Oh, I think. Such massive skies. Oh, yes. Freedom. Freedom. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, wow. No, honestly, the fresh air is great. It's good to be out. <sighs> Love it. So we circled back round to White Edge and our plans are to go back down to the car, 
get some food maybe and then go and find somewhere else. We've done White Edge before, click here to go and watch that video. White Edge was beautiful, but we have seen it already, so yeah. And it does quieten down about, you know, later in the day, so we'll try and find somewhere to park as well, so yeah. Okay. But it is so nice up here, isn't it, Deb? It's lovely up here, isn't it? Big skies. That rocklet over there. It's just, it is nice around here. Well guys, we have just seen deer. I mean, how amazing was that? Wow, I'm blown away by excitement. Just want to mention that if anyone doesn't know what Patreon is, it's basically a website where you can go and tip um, anyone, artists, creators, um, like you tip for appreciation or something like that. Um, so I've got two patrons now both in the US and they're so supportive I mean everyone's supportive on my channel everyone you know comments and stuff I'm just gonna get down this oh okay but yeah you just it's just like when you go to a gig and you tip that's more that's playing a gig really but it's the same you know for a creator and luckily well for me when someone tips me it could be like one dollar five dollar or anything more it just helps me create better content and you know I just feel amazing <laughs> it makes me feel great when you know I see that someone's you know that goes that extra mile it's really nice to see but yeah thank you to Jeff Henry Mindy all in the US your support helps me a lot like massively so thank you got back into the car decided not to go to the grouse in today for lunch because there's not really a great choice of vegan uh, meals I don't really fancy jacket and beans today I had beans this morning so we're gonna go find the, the checker the checkers the checker pub it's really hot now I'm getting a bit tired are you food time Beautiful meal at the Checkers. Nice vegan options. Well, they made vegan food for me, which is very, very nice. I appreciate that a lot. Go there, it's a nice little place. So Mamtor is just behind us and we are going up this hill. I'm not sure what it is. Hello sheep. Hello. So if Mam Tour's behind me, what am I on now? What's that? Please comment below. <laughs> no idea what it is. What do you think, Deb? I feel I'm on top of the world. This is so nice. Look at this, guys. How amazing is that? Wow. Wow. So high. 
high up. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Love it. Love it so much. What a great end to the day. Just to let you guys know that I've done two MAM tour videos. Go and check them out. I'll link here for one of them that's doing really, really well. It's got like over 1,700 views now, I think. It's a really, really good video. But yeah, that's MAM tour. Yeah. So, Dev, you enjoyed today? It's like how a lady just walked past. Just flash around to see her. I don't want any. Does anyone own any walking sticks for hiking? If so, are they good? Please let us know in the comment section below. Should Deb go and get a pair of walking sticks? <laughs> Guys, I'm really, really sorry to just um, have a little black dot on the screen throughout the whole of this video. I've just wiped my lens, very, very sorry. I do apologize. Oops. So it's five o'clock and sunset sets at 10 past seven and we're debating whether to wait for the sunset i don't think i can wait for the sunset deb two hours oh I just i don't think i can do it Nice stroll with the sheep and we're back to the car. I think we're gonna call it a day. Yeah, anyway, cut to the outro. If you enjoyed this video, comment, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.